Hi, so today we have got a tutorial for you for a really quick and easy, delicious cookie. This is my helper, Oshan. Oshan, are they just the most amazing cookies? Yeah. They are absolutely gorgeous. So they're ready in just seven minutes in the oven, so no need to worry about having them um, take ages to get ready. So the ingredients you need, you're going to need um, 100 grams of soft brown sugar. Uh, we've already weighed out all our ingredients. We've got 125 grams of caster sugar, 225 grams of self-raising flour, um, we've got some vanilla bean paste, so vanilla is optional. We tend not to add it to ours, but you can if you want to. One egg, half a teaspoon of salt, um, 125 grams of butter, uh, which we've left out at room temperature. So the idea with the butter is it's entirely up to you whether you're into salted or unsalted. I've gone so un for unsalted because I'm adding a half a teaspoon of salt as well. And then the most important ingredients, all your variety of chocolate chips to go in at the end. So Oshan, um, while I'm having put a... Um, uh, apron on. Can you please put the uh, butter into the mixer? So you can mix this by hand as well, it does make it easier. If your um, uh, butter is softer, it does make it much easier. Yeah, excellent. So we start off by creaming the sugars and the butter. So um, a machine does make it easier than by hand, but it is doable both ways. So if you can add in the two balls of sugar as well now, please. Yeah, so we can add that one in. Which one? It doesn't matter which one first. So the brown is a bit stickier to pour, isn't it? So it almost looks a bit like sand going in there, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. Great. Excellent. And then we'll add that one. So we move that out of the way. So once you add those three ingredients in, then you um, start mixing until they start creaming in together. the egg in please. Okay, thank you. And then turn that off. Okay. So that's when you would have added the vanilla bean paste as well or just the vanilla essence whichever you opt for if you want them to be vanilla cookies. Um, you would have added up the same time as the egg but we're going to give that one a miss for today. So now we need to sift in the salt and the flour and this is the last stage before we start rolling them into balls so we add that in so if you turn the um mixer on Ashan. thank you okay and we start sifting do you use the spoon And this is the last stage, arguably the most important stage. So here we've got some milk chocolate chips. Uh, you can buy these in, in any shop or supermarket. Um, we've got white chocolate chips and we've got these are like uh, mini chocolate buttons, like Smarties. So you can add in anything you would normally have in your cookies. So you can add some fudge chunks, so you can add some honeycomb pieces. So whatever suits you at this point, but the chocolate ones do work really well. So do you wanna um, add in however many you want? Do that back on. Thank you. 
done. Uh, now we just need to get some baking trays. And then you put some piece of paper on the baking trays. So if you get the um, scoop from there, so you can use a spoon or a scoop. We find that um, an ice cream scoop works really well, but you can uh, you can use just a normal spoon or you can just use your hands. So this is again where it's really important. You make sure you wash your hands to start with um, to make sure that they are um, as clean as clean can be before you handle any of the mix. Okay, that smells delicious. They look perfect. Uh, so the oven has been on while we're preparing this. The oven has been on um, at 180 degrees uh, on a fan. Oven. And then how long you leave the cookies in there is dependent on how cool you want them. So the, the traditional recipe would be to leave them in just for seven minutes and they almost look like they're undercooked. But once they come out, they've started cooling, then you see they settle quite a bit. And that's when we find that they are most delicious is when they've still got that little bit of goo in the middle. But you can put them up to 10 minutes. So now you can use a spoon, you can use a scoop, you can use your hands. So uh, about a walnut size is quite good. We like to make them a little bit bigger. And then you do that one, I get the next one. And then um, just put them into blobs. You just roll them roughly about that size. And then they work out really well. So we can see we've gone for two different methods. I've just gone for the ball and left them and Ashana squashed them down a little bit more. The end result doesn't really make much difference. They um, they set a little bit in the oven anyway. So we're gonna pop these in for seven to eight minutes um, and then we'll just keep putting the other balls out while these are in the oven. So um, the oven's beeped, seven minutes are up. So um, if you get that one to put in, I'll show get the other ones out. almost looked like they're not cooked enough and the temptation would be to leave them in for longer but they will be incredibly crispy if you leave them in for longer so the trick now is to leave them here for um, a minute and then we just transfer them onto some wire racks to cool and then uh, just before they're really cold that's when they're best to eat okay seven minutes so now we're going to slide the paper Yours look better than mine, I would say. More even bake. Ben? Yeah? <laughs> okay, so if you open the oven for the next lot. Okay, what do they look like? Do they look like they need an extra minute? No, they look okay. They look cool, okay. We can put those are ready to go on there. They're ready to eat. So we've made 16 cookies at one batch and I promise you these are not going to last more than how long do you think? About two days. Two days? I think two hours more like. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I put all the uh, ingredients in the description of the video as well. If you've got any questions, just um, drop me a message and I'm happy to answer them. Enjoy your cookies.